Okay, welcome back everybody. I'm um, going to be talking about the uh, plasma flamer weapon. Um, I happened to stumble across this weapon probably sometime late last year and really enjoyed it. Um, <clears throat> basically, it's a, <clears throat> a plasma shot. Oh, excuse me. A plasma shotgun. It has incredible damage up close and a very limited range. So let's go ahead with a standard plasma pistol here. Let's get rid of this one. There we go. Agitated plasma pistol. <clears throat> Overcharge capacitor. Flamer barrel right there. And good grip. Uh, don't worry too much about sights. You know, reflex sight is fine. Um, I have a mod on here that allows me to create legendary weapons. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, if you gain access to the Institute, they do have a weapon uh, sold by the vendor you in the Institute that you is a, fl uh, a plasma flamer that has, I think, a 25% uh, higher uh, rate of fire. Uh, fantastic weapon. If you are not using a legendary mod, creator mod, then I would definitely get that weapon and I would turn it into a flamer. Fantastic. Now I'm going to take this out there and, and go screw around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll pause it here and I will go ahead and uh, pick it up again and I'll find some enemies worth killing. Okay, just got an alert that uh, Warwick Homestead is under attack. Let's crank up our little uh, plasma flamer and pay them a visit. There we go, defend Warwick Homestead. Happen to be in the area too. Could have went a little better, um, but thanks to the defensive I've, the defenses I've set up, uh, this area is pretty well defended. And uh, a good thing about this weapon is it has really excellent ammunition storage. Um, you can blast away for quite some time without having uh, without having to reload. So let's, let's strip this and let's go pay a visit to our friends here at the, uh, what is this, the MS Azalea, something like that? Look at that, instant kill. Pile of goo. Booyah! Look at that. Good stuff. And it creates um, nuclear material, material for you as well for uh, weapon creation. Uh, you guys can suck it down. As you can see, the plasma flame is quite a nice weapon. Uh, but its weakness is range. It has, it has really uh, probably less than um, less range than uh, a shotgun.
Any nuke? And there we go. Not a bad weapon, huh? This uh, handmade rifle from uh, Nuka World. Excellent weapon. Airtime. Okay. So again, the um, the plasma flamer, very, very unappreciated weapon and uh, underutilized. Like I said, the only reason I found it is because I happened to stumble across the flamer and said, ah, well, you know, what the hell, I'll take, I'll take a shot at it. And it was fantastic. And uh, so it's actually now one of my favorite close-up weapons, especially when you're, uh, <clears throat> as soon as you walk into a building and uh, you're expected to uh, have a little conflict going on, just a superb weapon. Huh, what do we got here? Yeah, you go ahead, go home, buddy. Fusion core, tuxedo, or. Okay guys, I'll go ahead and upload this. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, but go ahead and put yourself together a, uh, a plasma flamer. And it's most certainly better than a shotgun, I guarantee you that. And I uh, hope you enjoy the weapon. Uh, after this, I'm gonna go ahead and make a, a updated video for the uh, farming for legendary items in the Nuka World area, if you have the DLC. Um, I have another video that doesn't have many views. Uh, I assume that uh, legendary weapons would be something relatively important, but uh, people don't really seem too interested in it. So I'll update the video and see if I get any response. Okay, guys, there we go. going to upload this. Thanks for watching. Uh, shoot any questions.